Chris, unemployment is skyrocketing. Billions of dollars have been promised to keep small business afloat and employees on the books. And many people right now are desperately waiting for those stimulus checks. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. Trisha has the night off. 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels right now is live near Eastern and Serene. And Joe, you're getting some answers from Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto. Yeah, we did, Todd. We spoke to her tonight while she worked in Washington, D.C., and we spoke to her and asked her questions about businesses like the Green Cleaners here in the South Valley. They are struggling to make their bills, and government programs like the Paycheck Protection Program, they say, aren't meeting all of their needs. It's an almost unfathomable amount of money. Two trillion. That's a two with 12 zeros after it. All right, thank you all. It's part of the CARES Act or that emergency stimulus bill that's supposed to prop up the paralyzed economy. Uh, the goal is also to put money into people's pockets and liquidity into our businesses. Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto says there have been some problems, especially with the Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP for short, within the CARES Act. It's meant to keep employees on the payrolls at small businesses. What I heard from our small businesses is, is that many of them are not getting access to these funds because they don't they may not have a pre-existing relationship with some of the banks. If you have a pre-existing relationship with some of the banks, what I'm hearing is the banks, it's much easier for them to process those funds directly to you. At Green Cleaners Alteration Center in the South Valley, it's as small as it gets. I have a well, four employee. I have with me five. And uh, it's a full time everybody work. The issue isn't the banking relationship. Owner Mohammed Yosef says the PPP covers payroll, which largely forgives that portion of the loan if criteria are met. But business is really slow. His biggest expense, aside from paying employees, is the rent and insurance, which might not be forgiven under the terms and then tack on the interest. The rates on these programs are incredibly low. So a 1% annual APR having to be repaid over you know, a, a longer period of time is could be if it's if it's that big of a burden to a business, then they definitely shouldn't take that loan. But it could be a great opportunity to buy some runway for your business as well as for your staff. Catherine Petralia is the co-founder of Cabbage, a company that's helping small businesses get through the PPP process. She says while the government program isn't right for every business, at least it may cover some expenses. Mohammed says he needs a solution to cover non-payroll expenses. So hang in there, just open every single day by myself. Sometimes I want help majority time by myself. I'm doing the cleaning, the pressing. Everything. Senator Cortez Masto says Congress is working right now on a second massive plan to send billions of more dollars to small businesses for extra help. And that new bill is about $250 billion. It was on the Senate floor for a debate just hours ago. As for those direct payments, Senator Cortez Masto says those with direct deposit on file with the IRS should start getting those uh, funds as soon as Monday. Also, she's expediting those payments for folks who receive Social Security benefits as well as on VA benefits. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Yeah, 